Hi, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner operator of Expertly Diet Art by Science. This is episode number one of my daily vlog. I'm going to try and put these together every day because I have a lot of things to say and I feel like I can contribute something to the crafting community. Also, I live in Seoul, Korea, which is actually really neat and I know a lot of you are really interested to see what it's like living here and crafting living in Seoul, putting that together. It's been quite an experience for me trying to find things to craft with, actually. So I thought I would, you know, talk about that, too. Also, I am hearing you with all of the requests and comments for new videos. I've actually been sick with a cold, so uh, for five days I couldn't talk because I was coughing so much that my throat and my tongue were swollen. So it felt like my tongue, instead of being a tongue, was a rock. So I couldn't even eat really for two days. I just had to eat broth. And when you've been drinking broth for the last two days, it's completely unsatisfying and you want like a hamburger or something. <laughs> so um, my voice is back to normal, thank goodness. Um, so I'm going to start working on these videos now. The first of which I'm going to start with is the learn to spin videos. This is a drop spindle. This is actually the first spindle that I bought. I bought it at my local yarn shop. The lady who owned the shop didn't do any spinning and didn't even sell drop spindles, but she happened to have this one because she had a seminar several months before that and either someone left this or there were extras, so I ended up buying this from her for like five dollars. If you're first learning to spin, more than likely you're going to be spinning with one of these, or sometimes you'll get like a drop spindle made with a couple of CDs, like, you know, CD-ROM, right? A couple of CDs attached to a shaft like this, and um, that's your first spindle. Really, really, really cheap, right? Um, so I'm going to do videos on how to how to spin with the drop spindle. Also, I had one request for learning to spin with the spinning wheel because sometimes you will learn first with the spinning wheel because you know someone who has it or you are affiliated with a guild that has spinners and they have extra wheels for you to practice with. So, um, you know, maybe that's your first attempt, <laughs> or maybe you're really, really rich, and you're like, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I might as well get the real thing. <laughs> so, um, spinning with a wheel, spinning with a drop spindle, it's really all essentially the same thing. It's just one is more portable than the other, one might be a little faster than the other. It's it's kind of really a preference thing. Anyway, so I'm going to do learn to spin videos uh, for those two different devices. Also, I had a request for troubleshooting because... Um, when you're a beginner spinner, a lot of times your yarn is over twisted, it's thick in places and thin in places, and to be honest, in my humble opinion, it's actually the most beautiful yarn you could probably make. Once you get the hang of everything and you're making really, really nice, thin, even yarns, like me, <laughs> it's almost impossible to go back to being a beginner and making those really highly textured yarns that have really fat places and really thin places those kinds of yarns, called art yarns, actually go for a lot of money. Like, I've seen them upwards of $70 per skein of yarn. <laughs> so if you're a beginner, cherish the time, because it usually doesn't last for very long. Anyway, so I was going to do a couple, maybe a couple videos about how to deal with beginner issues with spinning, because we all have them. I was there once. So it's important to talk about it because sometimes you'll learn how to do it. You'll go home and think, wait, how wait, what how do I do this again? Or you think, oh my gosh, this is happening. I don't understand why it's happening. So we've all been there. Um, and I know there are learn to spin videos available on the internet right now, but a lot of them aren't in HD, so sometimes it's really hard to see or the lighting is bad or there's weird music attached to it, and you're like, oh, I just want to see what's going on and get an appropriate um, like learning experience from it. I'm a teacher at heart. I actually teach Korean children how to speak English in Seoul at this, at this point. And I've also been a teacher of martial arts and uh, various other things when I was still living in the States. So I really like to talk. I really like to teach other people. And I like to provide this as sort of a free service because I don't think this kind of information should be bought and paid for, if you understand my meaning. Anyway, so yes, I am listening to your comments and requests. I also had a comment for 
um, hand sewing videos. So I do know how to use a sewing machine and I do know how to hand sew. I'm not terrible at it. I'm not very good at it. I'm kind of in the middle. <laughs> But I definitely do know enough to be able to put together a couple of videos for useful things like sewing on a button. Because there are men out there that still don't know how to sew a button and oftentimes aren't living with their mothers. They don't have girlfriends or wives and it looks pretty hokey if you're wearing a button-up t-shirt or business shirt or something and you have a button missing like right here. Right? No! You do not want to have a missing button so I'll show you how really easy that is. Um, so the, the sewing videos that I'll be posting will all be done by hand um, because not everyone has access to a sewing machine and they're actually kind of expensive. So um, I will get those uh, started as well, hopefully this week, maybe maybe start of next week. I have to go get some needle and needles and thread. I don't have any here yet. I have a dress I need to fix and a shirt I need to fix. So uh, I'll get to it, I promise. Anyway, and then the last thing I wanted to uh, comment about was there are a lot of videos on the internet for spinning silk hankies. And these are some hankies that I dyed before leaving the United States. I'm also a professional dyer. This is uh, this was me trying to get rid of some extra dye. And I had these lovely silk hankies hanging around. So I'm like, you know what? Perfect color for this. And this is... This is me getting started on the video. Oh, it stuck to my finger. <laughs> Silk sticks to everything. If you have like a little hangnail or a piece of skin or rough skin, it's going to stick to you. Anyway, so I'm going to show uh, also a video how to do this. I actually prefer to spin silk on a drop spindle. Um, and I'm not sure why. I just, I just prefer it. Anyway, so um, I think that will conclude this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Uh, like the video comment below. If you have any questions or suggestions, please shoot me an email. I'll have that in the description bar below. If you want, please follow me on Twitter. Uh, I have a Facebook fan page, so you can go there and like me as well. I have an Etsy site, and I'm hopefully going to get that set up maybe this week, maybe next week. There is actually a post office literally just down the street from me. It's, it's across the street and over one building, so I'll be able to actually get everything set up for shipping so I can finally open my shop again. I feel kind of without right now because I haven't had that, you know, oh, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Whatever. It's not important. I feel like I just need to have my shop open again. I don't feel completely together right now. It's been a couple of months living in Korea and I don't know if you've ever uprooted from one country and just moved randomly to the other side of the world and lived in a country where you don't speak the language. I can read Korean. I can't really speak it that well. Um, I don't have enough vocabulary or grammar to do much. My husband does. He took a couple years of Korean in grad school, so he's been helping me quite a bit. <laughs> anyway, so again, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.